Hey everyone, it's Maka from Inside Gaming with Seagate, taking a deeper dive into the actual benefits that gamers receive when it comes to their storage devices. Let's get inside. In previous episodes, we've looked at the difference between types of drives, from spinning hard disks to flash-based solid-state drives, like Seagate's Firecuda 510, which is an M.2 PCIe NVMe solid-state drive. But it's important to fully understand the real-time benefits that gamers can expect when installing a new SSD device. For instance, if you're wanting better frame rates and faster gameplay, the most important upgrade to your PC will be your graphics card. But for decreasing install times, load and open times, as well as menu to game transitions and even level loads, SSDs will create a noticeable improvement in speed over a traditional hard disk drive. And if you're the type of gamer that likes to record or stream their gameplay, having SSDs to handle the processing power of multiple heavy applications can be crucial. If you've also got a large library of media and games and just need a lot of terabytes for storing them, the best one-two punch for your system is having both types of drives, an SSD for boots and installs and an HDD for your high volume storage. If your motherboard has the right interface, you'll want to get an M.2 NVMe drive. M.2 drives are six times faster than SSDs that have a SATA connection, but not every motherboard has the right interface, so make sure to consult with your system's manual. Believe it or not, it's also important to note an SSD's manufacturer's warranty. A longer warranty is usually a good sign of the drive's durability. Flash cells, like those found on SSDs, have a limited amount of write cycles. Its physical lifespan is dependent on how much wear and tear you're putting on the drive, such as heavy volume read and writes from your media or gaming usage. There's a point where the flash cell can no longer be written to and it will become read only. There are a couple of measurements commonly used for a drive's reliability, such as TBWs and MTBFs. TBWs is total bytes written or terabytes written and is a measurement of how many total terabytes can be written and rewritten on the drive. The Firecuda 510, for instance, has a 2600 terabyte measurement for its TBW lifespan, which is more than you'd ever need for standard usage. MTBFs is the mean time between failures and is a spec measured in hours of a standard failure rate for normal operation of a given sample size of drives. Don't get too caught up in the math. Any drive with at least 1 million MTBF hours is acceptable. Just be sure to check out the warranty and spec sheet for any drive you're considering. And if you want to dive deeper into types of drives or what an M.2 NVMe drive actually is, check out our other videos on our channel. Thanks for watching.